That is such a creepy laugh. It's like a lovely day today and an, and an announcement was made on Wednesday that um, we will have a meeting this afternoon to see what our position is with our project and whether we continue on whether our project goes on hold and we get fired today or um, whether our contracts are on hold I have no idea so two o'clock this afternoon it's only 11 it's two o'clock this afternoon, I'll find out whether I still have a job. Um, fingers crossed, I do because... Oh. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. Um, fingers crossed that I do because um, there is actually a lot of work to be done. <laughs> You've created this weird laugh. Oh, what were you just laughing at? At the cat one, I scared her away. You scared her away. How would you like it if you were a cat and somebody like you scared you away? Mm, I was annoying him. How do you feel about this whole lockdown and not going to shops and not being able to do anything? How do you feel? Nah. You okay with it? No. Nope. Oh, I can't stop yawning. Okay. Alright, I better get some work done. Oh, why? Maybe a little bit of a haircut. Okay. So yeah, 2 o'clock this afternoon. So, 2 o'clock this afternoon, I'll find out if I still have a job. And we'll go from there. Where? Where are we going? So Kai and I are going for a lunchtime bike ride to get him out of the house. We're going to just bike around the block because Mum's got a meeting after lunch. Okay. So as you can see, I'm in the car wash and just wanted to quickly share with you guys that had a really really good meeting with some amazing leaders in our program of work um, at National Australia Bank who are really supportive of us to continue with the project that we're working on. Um, they were quite honest um, that you know it will come with some challenges because uh, delivery dates that we were targeting will be pushed out because of the coronavirus um, but that's to be expected there is uh, resource constraints so there is a freeze on resourcing and there will be some resource constraints so that just basically means that we just have to work a lot harder than what we have been um, the, oh, lots of positives came out of this meeting this afternoon it was such an awesome way to finish our Friday afternoon um, things like gratification that Craig mentioned, five things that he was grateful for, first and foremost is health and the health of ours within the team. Um, he was grateful for making sure that, you know, we keep healthy, uh, we have a work-life balance while we're working from home and, you know, making sure that we're going out and getting some walks and then um, keeping healthy. So that was the first thing that he was really grateful for. The second thing that he was grateful for was um, the amazing leaders that are in our, in our program of work um, that he gets to work with. Um, the third thing that he was grateful for was the team, how well we're working. Um, the fifth thing was, uh, and the continuation of our program, that we still have a job and we're very blessed. And, um, it's really nice to hear somebody at that level, at that much higher level, speak in that manner to understand that. People need to remember that we need to be grateful for the things that we have in our lives. And I have everything to be doubly grateful for. I still have a job. Um, 
And the other thing that I loved about his meeting this afternoon was um, productivity. Productivity working from home has just been unbelievable. I feel I've got more work done in the one week that I've been at home than what I would go in and out of the office or, you know, travel can set you back to, um, you know, working from home allows you to put in those extra hours and then be flexible and, you know, you might want to catch up on something on the weekend so you just chuck in an hour or 30 minutes here and there. I personally feel that's work-life balance. Even though you're working on the weekends, it's still work-life balance. If you've got a lazy 30 minutes and you know that it might take you about 15 minutes to pop out an email because it's of importance or it's at the top of your mind, um, that's one less thing for you to do during the week. That's one less thing for you to think of. And that's where the productivity comes in. It's a combination of things. You don't have to travel to work. You um, can work whenever you want to. Um, have those flexible hours, you know, there's, you set your priorities and there are some tasks in those priorities that can be done on the weekend as opposed to during the week because you've got more uh, larger demands. Um, so the fact that you hear people at a much program level talk about productivity uh, working from home is, is an upside for our future. A lot of good things are going to come out of this pandemic, maybe not for all families not for everyone and um you know my heart goes out there to those that have lost loved ones and those have been sick those have lost their jobs i'm just saying from my point of view i should be more than blessed i am absolutely blessed with um good health good employment uh, good leadership amazing work colleagues and a beautiful family and a husband that I love very much and um, and my children who I love very much and want them to be happy and safe. So that was me, five minutes, sharing with you all how blessed I am and I will thank the universe, all God, every single day for this awesome, amazing opportunity. So yeah. It's what a way to finish the week on a Friday afternoon. It was awesome.